Okay, here we have Ableton Live. I am going to show you how to use DMXs inside Ableton Live and we are going to be using MIDI notes to program our light show. First we create DMXs in an empty return channel and I'll rename that channel DMXs. Now for this we need two MIDI tracks, one to switch banks and the other to switch presets. So I'll create a second MIDI track. I'll name the first one banks and the next one presets. And the last thing we need to do to finish setup is to route the output of this channel to DMXs channel 15 which is where we send bank changes and on this MIDI channel we send it to DMX's channel 16 which is for preset changes. That's us, we're now ready to go. Now what we can do is create uh, as many clips as we want, uh, MIDI clips, and each clip will contain MIDI notes to switch the banks and presets. Well, let's have a look at that. We'll create an empty bank and go into draw mode and we simply create notes where we want to switch banks. So there's four bank changes. If I play that clip and load DMXs, we can see our bank changes happening there. The clip stopped, the bank changes stop. Same thing for presets, we can create a new empty clip and create notes where we want to change presets. So let's start with preset 4, then 2, then a little bit later preset 5, and then preset 1. Again, play that clip and we look at DMXs. Let's choose a bank with lots of presets, there we go. So there we have two clips, one to change banks, and one to change presets. Now I would highly recommend that you create all your presets for a song inside one bank because uh, it's quite tricky to do multiple bank and preset changes within a song. It can be done, but you spend a lot of time um, maintaining multiple clips across the two channels. It's much easier if at the beginning of the song you switch to the correct bank and then throughout the song you s you're simply playing uh, clips on the preset channel to, to switch presets. That's us. Thanks. See you later.